Hey everybody, welcome to Down the Tubes. Um, so hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Down the Tubes. Welcome to Copeland's Copeland. Welcome to Down the Tubes. Hi guys, this is Down the Tubes. Uh, and just today we just sat around because unfortunately Sam's job just fucking riding him down. Yeah, so Sam was he unavailable. Wasn't, a, he wasn't available. And we didn't want to burn our sick topic for the next episode without Sam, so... Don't worry, we we got him hot and gassed up in the in yeah. We the got silo. him all gassed up in the silo, and he's uh, gonna be ready to rip. So we just kind of tried something new today, Jack and we I. We got just him on kinda... steam. We got him on steam supply. Hung we got him ripped talked. up. We got the vitamins <laughs> so, in. Enjoy ripped this. He's ready to go next time, and this will be what this is today. <laughs> President, I'm, I'm here. present. I'm alive. I'm with it. Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle. Audiobook background music. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Sorry, guys. I was just signing up for Raid Shadow Legends. Sh- Shadow Legends. Where are you I, saying that you're gonna? You're gonna. Um, are you gonna build a raft or something? You're gonna go out. You're saying on the break. Just you're just gonna go out. You're just gonna go away. Just in life, I'm gonna do that. Didn't you say that? Yeah, I was having. Well, I was feeling pretty stressed out recently. A raft. I was feeling uh, stressed out, so I was thinking what I might do. High anxiety, you know, past couple of days, and so I was thinking. I saw this YouTube tutorial on how you can um, screw together a bunch of those uh, water jugs, those big blue five gallon water jugs, and make kind of raft out of that. Oh yeah. And I thought, you know, I guess I'll just go to the L.A. River and just launch on one of those and just see where it takes me. That's not going to get you very far. I think you should. I well, think, I would live on one of those islands. Oh, like near, whatever, like, whatever near island. Frog town. You've seen this, yeah, the little islands in the middle of the sure, LA River. Yeah. I'm just figuring whichever one of those I land on first, I'll just live in that. That would be kind of interesting. You know what they? It'd be so interesting. Do you know that people do that? Oh yeah, I see them out there all the time. No, I do see them. They're all yes. camping out there. But less than you would think. The island is not a very good setup if you're a homeless. Houseless oh, individual. Yeah, I, I guess they're homeless. I didn't even think about that. I thought they were just out there. You didn't there think camp- about that? L.A. camping. You didn't think about that? Camping in you the You think river. people are going recreationally camping on the river islands? Yeah. I fucking doubt it. I do. I uh, I have with uh, my girlfriend before. On the river islands? Uh, in L.A.? On the L.A. river? Yeah. They're like made of garbage and, and slop. Yeah, but it's like fucking cool to do. It's like that's, punk. That's fucking bass as hell. It's really fun. That's fucking sick. Did you guys yeah. make noise music out there? Yeah, we have a noise outfit that we... Like a noise posse? Yeah, we have a couple of people that come out there. A marauding noise posse on the L.A. River Island? It's called Big big, big, big Electronics. It's a hardcore electronics... Uh, yeah, you know, um, I made... Th- materials that's, band. I did make an ecosphere out of L.A. River water. That was kind of cool. Do you remember that? I made a week of sphere out of your fucking face <laughs> last week. That's the, fucking. Sick. Remember last week? Uh, not really. We were in the lock. <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember like the past three gone. years. <laughs> That's not even a joke. I. I feel like I basically here's, barely remember here's the, the past, past three years, years. for Ben. <laughs> the past. Three, the past three years are like waking up, being like, man, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 22, and then I'm, I'm like, 23. I'm 25. <laughs> I'm 25 years old. <laughs> Ching, you know, well, it's that's how time works, okay, man. Yeah, fuck. I guess you're right, dog. <laughs> Welcome to time. Welcome, Welcome to, to the wormhole. Time. Welcome to the wormhole. Sh- shit. <laughs> Welcome to the wormhole. Did you see that thing? How, uh, like, 320 million crypto Ethereum was ripped off this. Uh, the couple. No, not them. I mean, that's We're also funny. That yeah. Have you seen their YouTube rap album? This is. I saw one clip of her rapping. It's pretty cool. I heard it was pretty cool. 
but not that i'm talking about this other thing where these guys like hacked this company i guess like a, some exchange called wormhole i sent uh -huh. it to you guys in the chat but yeah. it's uh this stuff's so self-parody because it's called fucking wormhole and it lost a bunch of coins and everyone's like and then i get oh, this well, that wasn't the one where the guy was like i did it on purpose was it the, if charity one no there was no some idea. there was Maybe. some crypto that rug sure. pulled and like the whole point of the sh of it was that they were going to donate a bunch of the pros it's like not the, a rug pull it's like these guys hacked an exchange right right right. a no, place I'm where you think it. that your fucking money was safe because yeah. you're a fucking idiot and then you're like oh my money's all safe in this online it's fucking website <laughs> i like the idea that like you know what parts of it are legit it's like keeping and stuff a million like that. dollars on myspace well here's what's funny like, to me it's even, protected by my password <laughs> even if we give it the benefit of the doubt right we say like oh it's interesting or it's cool or maybe it could be secure it's you just a funny idea on principle to be like i'm gonna keep a bunch of money in this thing i heard about one year ago <laughs> you know what i mean like you just you just heard it. even if it's legit or you find sources that you Dude, say it's legit, even... and you hear about it like a year ago and you're like we store six hundred thousand dollars in here. <laughs> yeah, this I thing I just heard about. I wouldn't store even a hundred bucks in Wikipedia, let alone Shit, freaking no, dude. The Wikipedia wallet, two, two bill on a Wiki coin. That's smart. They got to write that. that down. Peg that to uh, peg that to the peg that to how many articles I read on Wikipedia for fluctuates oh. for every article. I read. It's based on me alone. In wow, the, that's, that's in the really Wikiverse. not that many. There's yeah, like probably no. six hundred Wiki coin. It caps or? out. The coin caps out pretty low. Oh, so it's not pegged to that number then. If, well, I'm capped, saying it's saying. pegged to me, and I, cap, I don't think you know I what the out. word pegged means. I cap I'll out. Say. At, I cap out, which means it's pegged to me. And I'm just saying I'll cap I out. I cap out. That means it's pegged Wikipedia to me. Articles. It doesn't mean that. Stop. That means the opposite. Stop talking when you you just don't know what you're saying. Is the thing? Oh no, you don't, dude. What do you think pegged means? Tell Here's me what the you thing. think you, pegged when you were means born in the context. When you were born, of, they're like, that's a. That's a dull boy. That's a vacant child. <laughs> that's a dimwit <laughs> child. Ooh, that's a dull dream dwelling came, baby. A guy came and was like, that's low IQ coming down the pipes. And here it is. That's low form. IQ come. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he saw me come out. Um, Saw me come out? <laughs> no, wait. We're, I wanted... Okay, first I of saw all, me come what out. do you think pegged means in the space of I a think means, currency? What I think all men should do it. I think no, it's good. but what do you what do you think pegged is? Come on. Problem pro peggers alliance. God, God damn. I'm in the peggers union. Well, you know how three six two five. You're referencing my argument that I think the population. I'm is in being the peggers coerced into pegging. <laughs> I've been yeah, well, systemically coerced. Into I, pegging. Yeah, I do believe that. I got coerced to peg at a young age. You got before coerced. it was cool. I was coerced to peg. <laughs> I took peg a pegging course on WikiHow. I did. Because I wanted to know just how to lay. I took a pegging course on WikiHow. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, look, hey, Brendan. Uh, yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You've like already done that twice. You think that's funny every time on the episode? You're like, hold on, hold on. You're a bitch. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, wait. There was this. Ex there was this one crypto that got. Like, that was just uh, one crypto. You want to talk about crypto some dude. more? <laughs> Jeez. Well, I just thought you'd find it funny because like, you love crypto. This dude. was one of those ones where from the start it was like uh uh it was that from the start. Like the creator made this cryptocurrency, right? Where um the creator was like, Oh, part of it is that uh it goes to a charity. Like when you buy it, the money we make off of it, it goes to a charity. And then it was like the day they were supposed to donate it to a charity or whatever. And like the creator tweeted and said, like, actually, you know what? We're going to donate it to a charity called My Wallet. Bye, guys. And then like stole millions of dollars. But yeah. like just even from the beginning, it was. Absolutely. And I think. Have you seen Lucky Goats? Dude, you know what? No, I haven't. But I think I may have <laughs> even seen it in the context of a TikTok where a guy was like, I'm super sorry for recommending this one, you guys. It turns out it was rug <laughs> I've seen multiple videos like that. Where uh, like crypto accounts on TikTok have so to eat awesome. crow and say like, "That's so." Cool. I'm so sorry. Always do your own research, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to be gone for a little bit. <laughs> I got to go to jail. I got to go to <laughs> white collar prison. Hey guys, turns out I got it. I'd be so funny. And one of them's like, "Hey, what's up?" Turns out I got to go to jail. I was washing my money through NFTs <laughs> and I was like hacking them. Uh, okay, here's a. I just wanted to show you. This is like maybe a sneak peek of an episode to come, but a, a big. 
a yeah, better keep one. that a secret, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let them know that the, what the next one's about. <laughs> I just uh so I am I am uh a double agent really cuz I'm a traitor to the cause. Of course I have tiny amount of crypto. Everyone does. No, I think Everyone that's common. Does. Lots of people who are anti-crypt have uh we all have tiny we amount. all have some. That's yeah. you know, when when GameStop was happening and you Well had, what you do is you, you were wait socially forced to own crypto when the everyone's like Yeah. You wait until it makes a bunch of money and then you buy some when it's at its highest price. Yeah, you're that's like, what well, we do. Oh, it'll happen again. So anyway, I have some on Coinbase and they send me emails and shit. Mm. This is all started from what I was saying earlier, but they send me an email like Hey, what's up? We know the thing at Wormhole happened for three hundred thirty million. But we just wanted to show you like why that's bad, why it doesn't usually happen, why it's rare, and how you can keep your crypto safe. It's over like, at Coinbase. <laughs> over here over at Coinbase, it's totally different. Nothing, uh, nothing and, ever gets And so I was here. I went on there and I was like looking at the names and I, I sent these to the chat, but well, they have one called Circuits of Value. Circuits of value. Oh coin. yeah, you were just sending a bunch of the, a bunch of the the coins no one's heard of. The na- there's so Cobol. many. I like they all have like an acronym. Wasn't there like that's brain Cobol. unleashed coin or something? There's adventure. God unleashed. There's adventure gold. That's that's kind of like maybe adventure like gold video game. Said. But what is? Isn't there there's one called Barn Bridge? I like Barn Bridge. Barn coin. Bridge coin. <laughs> it's just, yeah. The use. What's the use case of like? Why are you gonna Uh-oh, own a bunch the of bottom fell out of Barn Bridge coin, honey? <laughs> We got to leave, <laughs> honey. I'm I'm extremely leveraged on barn bridge coin. I'm, I, I things are not. I'm millions of dollars in debt. Uh oh, honey, go kill the kids. <laughs> barn bridge just took a shit. Honey, can you go release get some the money? Barn this bro- is what stupid people sound like. By the way, just to be clear on our yeah. saying, stupid oh. people sound like this. It's yeah, it's easy stupid voice to do. <laughs> it's, it, in our context, it is comes right to the honey, brain. Can you go get a withdrawal? Uh, out of our son's college fund. I, I just found out that you can put long puts on Barnbridge coin. <laughs> I'm going to go put some longs on, on Barnbridge coin. I'm going long on Barnbridge, honey. <laughs> I'm going long on bar. I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> I'm going long on Barnbridge. That's what I want to do. I want to short crypto. I would love to short crypto. Yeah. The whole thing. I'm sure people are. But can doing do stuff like that, maneuvers like that, that's how people get fucked up. Um, There's Gods Unchained. God's Unchained coin. That's the one that I really liked. God's Unchained coin. Wait, can you go to... Wait, let me look up. Pluton. <laughs> Jasmine. There's Jasmine coin. Oh, it's a crypto game. God's what token is? price update. What's a crypto game? I don't know. <laughs> this is Blanco's. The free-to-play multiplayer game where you can unlock, earn, and sell NFTs. Well, that's Blinko's. Yeah, that's Blinko's. The Blinko lock lock game game where you slip lock clock. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Altcoin Daily, this guy's a beast, (laughs) man. Well, wait, Altcoin Daily, this guy's YouTube channel. Well, surely he couldn't be biased in any way about what he covers or making it sound good or... Today. Not because he's altcoin alt- daily, because he's alternative. To yeah, talk yeah, about he's play, a coin. he's not mainstream B coin like a he's fucking not a nerd. Fucking a B coin pleb. Finding quality play to earn crypto. God's games. unchained. Yeah, no. This guy, I'll just say this. This commercial gives me the sense that this guy's legit. An OG in this space. It's a it's a game. It's crypto, and it's your house is on is on the chain. Already playing. Check out this cool. In today's video, oh, they're all sort of uh, upload the deed to your house. (laughs) God's Unchained allows you to scan the deed to your home. Blessing of the gods and leverage your coin based on the value of your home per market value. This gives you sick things like a black mage's red fiery tunic and real gods token. So it's god's worth token. real money. Is that how that works when it's a crypto game? Does the token it's worth real shit though? Let's jump in. First question. What is God's Unchained? That is yeah, that, oh, that's our first, first question. question. Took you fucking minutes. In my opinion, to get there. A oh wow. It's a card oh, it's Dota. Dota. It's card playing. No, it's, it's Dota, like but you, it's Dota, but you lose cash. Actually fun <laughs> you just lose real cash. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> lose real cash. Not only are you miserable <laughs> after you play it for five hours, <laughs> but you're literally like your bank account's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is Dota not the card one? I thought Dota was the card like one. Oh, dumb. Is Dota is like you're born uh, League of Legends. You're born like just a concrete shed. I mean my brain's, like brain's like a concrete shit. My brain's like a concrete shit. But in 60 seconds. That's a cool song. My body's a little. What is God's Unchained? Brain. 
my body's a little brain. <laughs> man, wait do you see my my little brain, man? <laughs> what do you see my body brain? The body brain. All I want to know is, I love this guy in this masquerade. Okay, so it's some fucking game. But here's what I'm saying. So that means that it's a game where you're playing with real Looks cash. Looks like he's at an orgy, right? that guy. God's Unchained. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the characters? Yeah. yeah, he's like a wizard with like, he's bald with like huge eyebrows. That's a polyamorous no, he had type like wizard. Like a mask guy. on for like a. Oh, really? Masquerade. I'm thinking of that. Okay, let's go back real quick. <laughs> this video is so good. Play to earn. No, that guy. Yeah, the yeah. eyes wide shut guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's got like a shuriken. <laughs> he's ready to fucking it's like kill. A, <laughs> it's like a polyamorous dude with a shuriken. An OG in this space. God, if polyamorous people had shurikens, they'd be a lot cooler. If polyamorous people had shurikens, there'd be a lot less misunderstandings when it comes to those sort of range. They're a poleaxe. <laughs> Break down the gods' token. Yeah, you know what's funny about that, though? We make that joke, yeah, what's but I bet you. I'm gender queer and I have. <laughs> nice. Stick it to them, dude. They've had it too good for too long, the gender queer. You need to take them down a peg. What's up, you guys? Him and I. God's tokens completely for free, just. Polyamorous, I have a halberd, is what I was going to say. Well, I, you say that, but I bet you that, like, the, um, the Venn diagram of people who are polyamorous and people who are into, like, live action role playing with medieval weapons, I bet you it's. There's more of a center. It's because they're cool. More of an overlap to that Venn great. diagram what, than you would What it's think. all about. What's really matters. You back this guard off your mic a little bit. You back this guard. <laughs> you back your guard off. About. A little bit. Take I just want to see peg. this guy say that God's Bro, token is going to be worth like knock you over. Like, wait, look at this. <laughs> I just want to see in this in this price prediction of God. This English Justin Timberlake. What the fuck is this? Nice one, dude. Go, fucking out. go for it. That guy looked just like JT. Well, let's just take a look at the graphs so far. It's not looking good for God's coin. Price prediction on God's on. Big fud came out on God's coin, dropped it down. I just just about three candlesticks in a row, meaning it has. We got three candlesticks and a kitty bounce twister. So all your money's gonna be going bye bye. I want to see him say it's gonna be worth way more. I'm going to Tinko's. I want to see this guy say that God's coin's gonna go to like ten dollars. It's at three twenty nine right now. I'm doing a rug pull and I'm going to Tinko's Majesty Hut and I'm gonna buy lots of rugs. Hee <laughs> haw! Right now. It is gaining in value, so a lot of people have been asking. I like this the that this guy is the rug puller of, of God's own chain. Whether it's worth investing into it because right that would be kind of cool. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's so the problem with video games you played in the past? It's that you can't get your money stolen what by playing. Them. Absolutely, or just lev you're like 15. You're 15 and. Uh, but you, you make a check you're asking in cash and your dad has to pay like 500 grand on God's own chain. Yeah, you're like, dad, I, <laughs> I bought some God's coin, but when I tried to cash out, it had gone down to an eighth of its value previously. I went to Dirth, Dirth's Moggin Hall Room. I did a raid at Dirth's Moggin. I went to and Dirth of Intelligence School. <laughs> no, he goes to Dirth's Moggin raid and he like fails the raid. Oh yeah, and then he has like, to pay like $500. I paid it out in the last couple of videos which I did Man. on God's Unchained. See, what I'm, see what I'm doing there? Yes, the official one is the one no. on Coin Market Cap, but we're just it's going to use crazy this for the mode. statistics. What do you mean? Stats and so on. <laughs> yeah. So over the week, it has gone up yeah, 8%. We here. can see consistent dips here since what January the 9th all the way up until Wait, I, the 11th, and then it was where's he gonna make his and right now slowly starting to go back up in value. And over the sellers because the price seen. has gone up. Charts. Looking into it. I just wanted to hear him say that it's going Way to make a great name thing just suck. Look up Jasmine coin. Jasmine coin? I'm okay, dude. Yes, see, this is what I was looking for a comment. I'm bullish AF. I think $10 will be coming in the next couple of months. So this guy thinks the value of God's token is going to triple in the next couple months. God's Unchained. You guys heard of that at home? God's Unchained token? It's going off. P yeah, retail we investors are, are financial so advisors. Bullish. You know, people say that. People say they're not. We are. We are. We, we are. And put you your buy this. put all your shit on God's Unchained token. Here's the thing too, because since it's a token like that, I bet you don't even have to play the game. Just invest right, 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 in right. God's Unchained token. It's like buying Blizzard stock. They're going to be just, just like that. They're going to be like World of Warcraft, which is like Dota, by the way. Dota Two is Warcraft. It is. Yeah. It's not like League. No, it's, war, it's a type of game that you play in Warcraft 2. You know what's three. too bad? Now See, I'm it's interesting the ways that bullshit changes though from thing to thing. Because like the crypto, right, they show charts. That's how they do their bullshit is they show charts, but then and they act like that justifies whatever they want to say. 
Whereas like that's Whereas slightly these guys different. Get, like a, a pinball wizard coming, <laughs> coming. This is different than the and NFT do, space and do though. Sort of Eggman's. Well, because in the NFT He'll space, sort of, this guy also do sort of Eggman's ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile on this guy. Whereas in the NFT space, they always go like, um, it's totally sick. What's up, guys? I'm this here in New York. Sick. I'm polished chrome, and I'm ready to give you the most <laughs> clearest Bitcoin My dome's news. reflective, and I'm ready to tell you about Polish chrome. <laughs> good day, good morning, good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are. And oh, wow. Shklingo. I like market. making fun of him. Like, great uh, narrator shows. voice. Do you guys remember Belgian Jasmine people. Coin? You guys remember yes. Jasmine Coin? You guys Coin. remember Jasmine Coin? <laughs> he has, like, YouTube voice, this guy. He has like a he has like fake YouTube video. This voice. guy's made in a tube in a lab. He sounds like he's gonna tell us about a tropical fat burning loophole or something. <laughs> some some way to get around rodents really quickly, <laughs> easy, Just no cash me. necessary. This coin seems to be doing really, really well now. After Binance listed it on the exchange only hours ago. Let's. Damn, I love the fake little like news. <laughs> the little ticket ticker on the bottom. For the ones of you that... Uh, oh, that's looking good. Can you imagine running on the treadmill and listening to this guy? Jasmine coin is currently <laughs> 0. 0.18 euro. It can only go up from here. <laughs> Ten years by big, by big. Institutional forex brokerages in Europe. Since I left the industry, I'm dedicating my time trying to teach people how financial markets and cryptocurrencies really work. Okay, so here's a Not question I have. No one could be he's more got, clearly he's got the, he's I feel got like this guy's going to Shanghai me onto a boat. Here's the thing. This guy's got the uh, his background. He's got like the green screen or whatever. Yeah. He's in like Shanghai or something. But what's the, what are these two white bars that are, I guess, just shit in front of his green screen <laughs> that he couldn't get rid of? What is that? I don't know. Well, is this is what I'm like, saying. He his setup here. I mean, I'm sure he's trying his best, but it couldn't look more like a scam. Like it couldn't look more like a thing where he's like, "Yeah, we'll throw it together. It'll kind of look like news, and then I'll say like, invest now in Jasmine Coin." <laughs> I like it. I, this kind of stuff is like, oh, see, they got a lot of. Oh my God, it's like a little news network. <laughs> Their little banner. What's going on in the middle there? That's so cool, and it's like all <laughs> shitty. It's like the worst. New, little it's fake news banner. Wow. Dude, dot Just financial news. Out. See, like that. This freaks me out because, like, dot financial Solana news. Solana burning this hot. This weird tiny. Notice Solana burning hot. Fifty-seven views. What's the yeah. See what? Okay, fifty-seven views. How does a small channel like this work? Like, are they, are they just friends that got together, or like, what is this? Are they paying to make it? Are, are they being paid to make it? What is it? What's happening, crypto maniacs? Good day, good morning, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. What's happening, crypto maniacs? You freaks, you fucks, you beautiful people. Apparently, the crypto market nice. started to recover somehow after the sell-off. That somehow it's uh, it started to dude. recover all of a sudden. What a fucking <laughs> letdown that was. Yeah, seriously. I, I'm noticing now that those are the daily charts. Those are changing. But as you can see, the lights. Oh, they're on like purpose. Stands. So, until oh, music stands. You know what they are? It's three green screen panels, and those are gaps between the three However, panels. Even with all this instability, with uh, visible LED light things to shooting a color, it's yeah. shoddy. I mean, it doesn't look great. <laughs> and while Ethereum it's also, I think the thing on the green screen is like a picture of a window. So it's also got like the bars of the window, like mixing with the yeah. bars between the screens. It's very shoddy looking. On their platform. So without further ado, <laughs> I love how he's doing the Solana, news poses. Its functionality and the price projections. <laughs> look at his little bell. So oh, that's a little smiley that's bell. When a bit, that's when a hot crypto tip comes in from the producers. <laughs> bing, bing. Uh, we so probably should talk about like fire. crypto less. Yeah. <laughs> Considering. <laughs> Jeez. We really should. Um, Don't want to burn it all. What was I saying before that? This video is called Dave Chappelle Gay. Oh, dude, Seven I know what I wanted to watch. Look how cute you are. You know what? I bet you would be awesome. Jack knows that both, I love, uh, um, touched him. Hello, my favorite animatronics. Spring I love pleasure. incomprehensible, uh, popular, gaming videos. Like, I love, like, like, this is a video of a, of someone with a VR helmet in a Freddy, Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's universe 
and um oh god and i clicked the virus some somehow somehow montigator survived the kurt cobain that takes oh montigator survived like the kurt cobain <laughs> this is a little far oh my god what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> the can i try with my little pea shooter okay, i don't this okay. freaks me <laughs> so wait so they're not real let's see last time that? i saw this i thought it was like <laughs> vr chat and it was like people that she's you know interacting with insert it but they're just like virtual that people that she's really abusing that's even weirder to me. Oh, what is this? Is this for kids? She's I'm loving his. Putting a, okay, okay, okay. Glit, glit puts, puts a gun in this like weird crocodile's mouth and blows his brains out. Basically. Yeah, I, Jesus. I can't even. I struggle to fucking even begin to explain what we're looking I'd at. Love That's to, what's crazy about these videos. I'd love to be, just be high and be eight years old on like Vivance. And, and you get this? Watching, you understand this? And you fully understand Dude, you know what? I remember. Yeah, shit like that is speeding up. I remember playing, what was the Modern Warfare that came out where it was like, you had jetpacks and shit? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. A couple of years ago, like one of the Modern Warfares came out, it was like Futury, and you had to like, you could run on walls and jetpack and stuff. And I tried playing it, and I was like, I literally can't play this game. Like, I can't understand, I can't move in three dimensions and aim without like Adderall or something. And we've just gone on from that. You know what I'm saying? Like these VR games that some of these kids are playing. They're crazy. But this, like, reminds me um, uh, of, like, Pluto TV, too. Like, when you go on Pluto TV and you just find, like, a Minecraft gaming stream that's, like, for kids, it's, like, incomprehensible. Like, streams for kids that are about video games, now they're all like, oh, my God, welcome, you guys, and we're going across the river, and that villager is quite Whoa, angry. Thanks for the subs attacking sub me. Subscription to subscribe. And you're gonna be ping bow. It's loud and continuous. Do you want me to go A over here? What is it going to yeah, B inside this glingo's house? I'll vote now. Ooh. I'm yeah. a chicken. Just kidding. I'm a chicken wizard. I'm in the backwards to the tamo. Okay, I'm gonna come to one of you guys' houses soon. We're all gonna hang out together. Woo! We'll hang out in your garage, Nathan. Cool. Thanks, Nathan, for subscribing. Um, you make it so I can eat bananas in the afternoon. And I've seen this lady. We've watched these a couple times. I don't get what she's doing. Uh, she's. I, I only know that their character is from colors, Five sounds. Nights at Freddy's, but it's like she's in this virtual like holodeck, and it's populated with, like, like right now. Just listening to you describe it, it hurts. My, <laughs> there's these my guys body. that are, like, alligator men, like they men in alligator they suits. Stud belts on, too. And she's just walking around and, like, putting guns in their mouth and executing them. Yeah, and she's... Well, but she's, there's not even an objective. Like, what is this? Big purple... I oh feel gosh. old. You know what I just realized? He has big... Well, and also... Like I'll say big that... And there's other characters. There's some rabbits from Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff, which I also only know what that is in name. Well, I'll say this. I'll say this. That yeah. Freddy, that Five Nights at Freddy's is holding an elite uh, <laughs> sniper Halo, rifle from, from Halo. Halo, too. Well, here's what's also freaky to me. This almost freaks me out more. The last time we watched one of these, I was under the impression that she was, like, playing with other people. And it's dawning it on me that she's just, like, alone with a bunch of, like, placed characters. It's playtime. That she's just walking around. Uh, be but yeah, that's well, that's right. freaky psychically to me that she's just, oh, she's, no, like, walking next. around just shooting these back. people. You think it's weird place. that, like, 20, 29 year old people do playtime oh, in, in a so virtual universe you can't, for glamour. six hours a day? You think that's weird? Glamour. I guess it's just to, like, make their bag, right? Oh, like, boy. I, I think what do you think she thinks about this? Yeah, I do wonder how people like that view themselves. Like, this. It's just for money. The only time I'm going to give you this But, like, you know, because is that, like, how the way she enjoys it, she says. Her, oh. To herself oh. at night. Oh, yeah. Goes to yeah, bed, yeah. Right? I think she says something like, Well, we all got to do something. Friend. Okay. Okay. You know, I think it's a bit battle of a golden handcuff time. situation. Like, maybe, battle rifle now. maybe she wanted to do journalism and now she does this. Oh, you know, you, you fall into I'm something like this and start we're doing. making so much really money that you can't so stop. What? Here, we're not doing anything near like this. No, no. We do cool shit. This is in the cleanest pond ever. It was an accident. So cool. I was, uh, I don't know, I was doing some cool shit the other day, and I was like, fucking fire. Damn, that's a really good story. DARPA. DARPA Blackhawk Copter Autonomous. That's what you type in this stuff? Want to know what guys are using? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. In good that, looking skin these days. I'm all DARPA. I'm interested in all the weaponry of modern warfare. Uh, yeah, you better get interested in it. It's about destiny Dude, on the battlefield. I don't America. need to be. Do you know that I know the way of all, all samurai? You know gun kata. I heard. Too. I know more than more than gun. Kata. DARPA aircrew labor in cockpit okay. automation system. <laughs>
Alias. I know Gun Caught It too. Have you downloaded that yet? Of a us Gun Caught It too. Black Hawk. Yeah. The Reckoning. You can do. Well, you notice how in in Equilibrium. Do you want this? Gun by Caught the way, It 1.0. I guess you could call you it. You can you can request one of these flag pins for free. Israeli American flag, flag pin. Flag uh, crossing American and Israeli. I was just flag. gonna say that Gun Caught It 2.0 is Krav Maga <laughs> with Gun Caught It involved. That's it's to really defend. Sick. It's to defend the the chosen holy land. Right. It's a kind of melding. where do you think Israel should have been? My backyard, my house, everybody in. <laughs> I think uh, everybody get it. I think they should have shrunk the Jews down and just put. Oh them. my God, that's actually nobody thought of that. I'll huh? be real. I've never. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to signal me to not talk about that. No, no, no. You're like, I... Don't respond. <laughs> you kick the tape. Don't talk about Jews. I'm, no, I'm Jew. allowed to talk about it. No, I've never heard that take before. Like that, honestly, isn't that what that downsizing movie is about? Like something like that. Like Israel could have been anywhere if you just shrink every Jewish person down to like an inch tall, and you could make a wonderful, futuristic, awesome city for them. Yeah, in any place, there could be an Israel in every place. Here's the thing, though: they'd complain. They'd complain about it. Oof. Yeah, they'd be like, "Oh, it's too small over here." Be like, "Dude, come on, where's my? This is a seat." <laughs> you call this a chair? These are tiny Jewish complaints. <laughs> you call this a chair over here? <laughs> I'm only an inch tall. <laughs> I'm an inch what, tall. What I'm in over a snow here. globe. <laughs> this is that was a one of those things that just kind of went under the radar. It's like for Where's, all our well, money. Where am I gonna work? <laughs> My money's still a big. Tiny store. You shrink them, but you don't shrink. You don't your think money. they'd be like my money's big. <laughs> you don't think they'd be like that. <laughs> I think they'd go the opposite way on that one. I think they'd like that. I'd make the tiniest Jews imaginable. Yeah, you would. But then I would make everybody I'd make else make the tiniest Jews <laughs> smaller than anybody else has ever done. You have seen the ray from the movies? I would use. You seen it. the shrink ray? We're working on that right now. Uh, the smallest the Jewish people have ever been. They're small. They're small. They're very. We're tiny. gonna make them smaller. They were small people already. I don't fucking care. I can't. I can't do Trump. Um. Yeah, I barely can. I can do Trump. Uh, I can do Trump in California. I'll twist it off some to some like Skywalker OG. <laughs> what <is that>? Yo. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's what he sounds. He's be like, let me ride the train all day. <laughs> He's like a burnt daddy on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I was all burnt on the beach. Get my balls all burnt on the beach. <laughs> lobster red. Trump's on the beach. Lobster red. Wanked off uh, schnapps. Brass monkey. <laughs> brass monkey and schnapps. Earl Turley's drinking a brass monkey. <laughs> he's brinking. He's brinking a Zima. <laughs> Imagine Trump on the beach all burnt brinking a Zima. <laughs> he drinks Zima. Zima. I would think that Trump would drink Zima. Back in when it came out, it's delicious. <laughs> it's very good. He has some, he has some investment in that failing enterprise. Oh, jeez, got him. <laughs> Trump owned. <laughs> got to Trump. Yeah, I like to own Trump in my free time. Other things I like to do: go to the skate park, wake up, and go to bed. <laughs> I go to bed and wake up every night. <laughs> <laughs> you go to bed and wake up every night? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like you're barely sleeping. You know what I do when I before I go to bed? Uh, wake up. You crying right now? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Jack McClendon tears awaken too. You know, there's the reckoning. A, there's an old Ajibwe saying <laughs> that Jack McClendon tears awakening. Goes across the sky. What goes across the sky may only come down. Yeah, I think it was something like that. We're it's never going to finish a great, a great, a great wind carries you. And all this while you don't know it or something. Yeah. Great episode. Do you think they made that up or do you think that actually is an Ojibwe saying? They probably just made it up, don't you think? I think it is an Ojibwe saying, yeah. You think they looked it up? Like you think Absolutely. the HBO writers were like, what's an old Ojibwe saying? I think if they didn't, it's fucked up. I guarantee yeah. there's Ojibwe they sayings. Well, uh, I wasn't even beginning to assert that there aren't. Well, don't. Because I would shut you down right at the... Well, right that's your hilt. Hilt. wait, I was just about to say, speaking of stuff like that, when we were doing that Jew voice, that's yeah. one of those things that flew under the radar where like, the radar? 
yeah, one of those things that flew under the radar for a couple of years where like because of uh because of John Mulaney and Nick Kroll doing that character Nick Kroll's Jewish. No, I know, but what I'm saying is like because John Mulaney and Nick Kroll did that Big thing, Jew. the the like old Jews characters, you know what I'm talking about? It's called like Gil and Hank or something. Yeah, I've never seen well, it. Well, because they did that about, and like yeah. a quote unquote like New York voice just became like a thing every comedy person did. I That's think, like, you know, whenever you do, if I remember doing improv and stuff and anyone ta- anytime anyone did a funny voice, their funny voice would be like, well, I was going down to this store and I thought it would be me. But what's funny to me is like basically what was happening is that all this uh, amongst all our progressive stuff, like it just flew under the radar that people just do offensive Jewish accents for like three or four years. Yeah, I think it's allowed. I no, I'm not saying it was a problem necessarily. I'm just saying it's funny because you'd have people talking about stuff like that, and then they'd be like, "Anyway, um, what if it was a funny guy who was like, excuse me, where's my theater seat?'" <laughs> and they'd be like, "Isn't that so funny? That <laughs> funny guy. He's a weird guy. What a guy. weird guy. Um, has anybody seen my dentures? <laughs> Somebody help me fill out this IRA Roth." Account information. I can't see it with all my I eyeballs. I can't read Man, that guy through my resenki. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a freak. Yeah, exactly. People were doing that, and then I remember, yeah. damn, what happened? I had a Does confrontation. Anybody know how to get to Mandalay Bay, room three sixteen? I have some Jewish large paddock. luggage. <laughs> <laughs> An alternative history where Paddock is Jewish. <laughs> that would be cool. I don't know what would have changed, but it would have uh, been sick to I, see. The second Holocaust would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> really? You think so? Yeah. That's pretty grim. I don't think so. Oh, okay. That's grim. It's yeah. real. <laughs> oh, it's grim. Well, yeah, really it's not happen. fun to think about. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to be fun and roses for your ass. It's not always fun and roses for your ass. Um, candy cane bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm a candy cane style bitch. <laughs> I'm going to the plum factory. I'm a candy cane style bitch. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Get over yourself. Damn, Paddock, though. What happened with that? I just going want to down, dissect that going, every day. Going down to Gumdrop Way. Paddock didn't play at Candyland. He shot a bunch of people. <laughs> um, Yeah. <laughs> you just think that if something else is brought up, it's like it must be in relation to whatever you're talking about. <laughs> You're like, well, I was talking about Candyland, so I don't think he did that. But, um, <laughs> he could have yeah. when he was a child. Upon the oh, he, land. I would, given his age, what I would. Paddock was like? I thought, well, uh, I think that he definitely played Candyland. I would just say that that was a very popular game. He probably played Certain it with his time. kids if he had Certain kids. time. Well, I remember we had an old edition of it at my home. Hey, my he, didn't like, and... he didn't like country music. <laughs> That's what they say about it. He hated country music. He hated it. He didn't almost care for more it. than anybody, evidently. I think he hated the most. I think out of he, anybody. I think what he ever. did was bad. Yeah, I think it's pretty bad too. Pretty bad, even. I would. I would say it's very bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. even pretty bad. I'm not going to soften the blow. I mean, I think it was horrible. What he yeah. Did. Do you think it was uh, staged? The Mandalay Bay didn't close down though. A hotel. What is yeah. Mandalay Bay? It's the hotel. It's a hotel mm. casino didn't close down what's the relevance of that i'm just saying i mean it was it couldn't have been that bad they didn't close the whole situation they didn't close during it no like they stayed open it's it's such a stain you'd think that 9-11 they closed that whole (laughs) 9-11 they didn't even let people in those buildings anymore (laughs) after that but that's but they did you know they built one world trade and now yeah but that took forever i mean they were out of commission for a while yeah i guess i went to ground zero a lot of rubble if he when recently when i was like really seven yeah really yeah i saw it did you remember um what that day was like for you absolutely yeah i only remember like one thing from it because i would have been like four years old and that's like just when you're starting to do memories you're like poo just rocking. no i just like rocking i remember kind of seeing it on tv and then not understanding what I remember not getting it. I do remember. Yeah. I remember kind of like I remember a moment of seeing. You thought it, it was on like TV. Sesame Street. And then no, it was I like... just didn't even get it at all. I don't even know. Yeah. I didn't know what. You're I like, had no thoughts about. You're like it in New my York, and it's like I don't even think I knew that. I think I was just like these are just images on the screen. I woke up. My mom was crying, and I went downstairs, and uh, the TV was on, and the plane had already been hit. Uh, first tower that poor been... plane had been hit with that building <laughs> yeah dude someone got that plane honestly plane destroyed immediately 
Yeah. Um, but uh, nice. nobody thinks about that. No one thinks about how quickly the up. plane went away. Yeah, disappeared. I've Almost seen all the footage. Think, uh, goes right in the building. Something else. <laughs> it would have been visually pretty funny if it had bounced off. Yeah, and it had taken the hit. Yeah, yeah like because the... it did that once. Those towers. What? Or was that the? That was the. They'd been hit by a plane before. No. Well, no, there was a bomb well, that remember... exploded in the basement or whatever, and then. The Empire State Building was hit by like a small aircraft and like really early on. Well, yeah. I remember you would think it, honestly looking back, it is crazy <clears throat> because you'd think they'd be more durable because like they'd already had a bunch of things. You think happen. they would? Like I remember that big Too bad giant jet gorilla steel doesn't melt skill 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 beams. Jet steel doesn't melt skill beams. <laughs> Too bad uh, but that. when that giant yeah. gorilla c- climbed on top, and uh, I remember planes were flying around during that. I don't know if any of them crashed into the building, but I imagine it's possible. No, there's a woman involved too. I think she passed away. Yeah, you know, she's, from the tight grip. She passed away from from uh, the gorilla's big tight grip. Oh, I don't remember that part. I thought he squeezed her. She's popped. He her, squeezed her, her head. So hard. Uh, her head popped off like a, I did it. They a thing commit, you squeeze. <laughs> they approached me to do uh, King Kong for Netflix. Yeah, and I, that I had that in the end. I had. He climbs the tower again. Now, when you say they approach you to do it, what do you mean? Write it, direct it, write and direct the new one. They oh, want yeah. It's three hundred million dollar budget for new straight to Netflix, but you know, money in my bank account. Mm-hmm. You um, think straight to Netflix is like bad, even though it's like the biggest. <laughs> you're like, yeah, straight to Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else they got on there? The power of the dog. So, you know what? What? <laughs> yeah. You know how like. Um, I was talking. Uh, yeah. No, go yeah, ahead. No, go I ahead. was saying. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No. Forget about it. Don't do that. No, it's cool. Don't do that. Please, please. I can't take that. Um. Anyway, I was talking to J.J. Abrams the other day. He told me not to do it, so I turned it down. Oh, yeah. Then he ended up doing I'm it. I'm definitely glad I let you resume this bit. I love J.J. Really Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Absolutely. He's awesome. Really cool guy. He came over to um, Tanya's. Hmm. Where's that? What is that? Left of uh, West Side down downtown, sort of. I don't. Even, I don't know what Tanya's is. Is it a restaurant? You ever been to Tanya's house? No, I don't think so. You're at a Shirley Temple. Yeah, in my life, yeah, yeah, for sure. I used to be into that for sure. I was. You uh, get a Shirley Temple, or you wouldn't get a Roy Rogers like a boy, like a man. I got both. <laughs> I got both of those in my you youth. You got both, huh? But mostly, Says something about you. mostly I was a Diet Coke drinker my whole life. When you were a kid? Probably. That's weird for a kid. Yeah, yeah, but people let their kids drink soda. Not Diet Coke, though. Well, I know, but my family, my dad's side, they all drink Diet Coke. You don't get Diet Coke culture. No, I do. I'm just no, saying. No, you don't. You don't get it. Because the thing with Diet Coke is, and I've, you've heard me say it before, there's no halfway. It's like you either don't drink Diet Coke or like you drink a ton of it, or you every drink day. it and your kids drink it, or like if your ki- if you have diet coke and your kids like I want soda, you're gonna let them taste diet coke. Yes. Well, my dad used to drink diet coke a lot, like in and his he car kept rides. you from having it. Yeah, he never. I don't let think me, I had. It. He well, never let me have diet. Coke. It's not good. I'm not saying it was the right thing to do, but I think that's pretty common my life because sucked, like people man. let their kids have soda against you know they probably shouldn't. I had a horrible but life. But if you have, <laughs> yeah, you had a horrible life. <laughs> I had a terrible life. Hell, getting here oh. at this point. Oh yeah, to this successful state of <laughs> life and being. Um, Hard for me. What about the? It's a movie called The Unbearable Lightness of Bing, and that's about the Bing. So like the Google thing, but Bing. Yeah, it's about it, the Google thing, but Bing. Those guys are trying to. It's. A, what about the movie about <laughs> the guys who are trying to get the uh, Bing started? Like it's the. Oh, there's Google. We're gonna make Bing. Right. Like, what about a movie it's that's like guys that it's like the social Bing. network. It's like the social network, but it's about Bing. So it's a guy working at Microsoft, <laughs> and it's like, a, want a perfect body? You want a perfect soul? You remember that? that, that commercial. To listen to. Do you, you remember said? that though? <laughs> no. In the social network commercial, oh, like yeah, iconic yeah. commercial, and it had the uh, choir version of Creep. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, was, yeah. And okay. so it's like that, and it's all dramatic, but it's a guy being like. Google's had its day in the sun. We're going to make Bing. It could be like a 19-part documentary on Netflix, I guarantee it, about Bing and how, like... You're saying all... it could be, like, we could make it, yeah. or it already exists? No, or... we could make it. And it's like, 
really long and it's about how yeah. like being came into being it's like the most boring thing ever it's just yeah it's torturous it's hours long of just like yeah so we think it's going to be like google similar yeah, well, to google uh, but it's going to be on like microsoft uh explorer we didn't even really think it would work out honestly we just kind of wanted to uh, provide something to maybe like work with uh, Microsoft Explorer by default so that Google's products aren't built in our products and um... yeah the Internet Explorer tool is really cool lets you um, you open it up it's got a great MSN homepage they gotta fucking quit with this shit the Microsoft Edge you've seen that right do you know about that I tuned out a long time yeah you ago. don't know anything about computers I mean I know I about Edge I, I know about well, Edge well Edge is Explorer it's just like the new yeah. version of it but like and they still do the thing where every time you get Windows that's the default and like I, as someone who's done IT for people I can confirm that Microsoft Edge only exists it only exists because of old people who don't know how to download a different browser that's why it exists it exists for those people yeah no one it uses it by choice it. yeah no one uses it by choice no one. No one. Not that I'm aware of. No one freaking uses it. Man. No, it sucks. A movie about that. A movie about Internet Explorer. So good and true. That, that would be, be cool. Yeah. It's called it's... Internet Explorer. <laughs> great. Yeah, and it's about, like, um, who's the main character? Like, a uh, sort of shed brain. Ryan Matthews. Ryan Matthews, and he's... Um, it's 1998. He's all tired. He's so tired and he's exhausted when he shows up for school. He's like, oh, miss, I forgot my homework because I'm so tired. <laughs> will you, will you, let me will go you rub the my big... back? <laughs> <laughs> miss. How old is he? He's in like, uh, he's like 14. Yeah, yeah, he's a freshman. He's a freshman in high school and he's like, miss. Will you rub my feet? I'm so tired. <laughs> and she she's does, like, and he's like, <laughs> she like, does, and he's like, is there something here <laughs> between us? This is okay, right? And then he uses like the Dell in the corner of the classroom to go on Internet Explorer. <laughs> Google, if that was okay. From from then, from then on, like it changes his brain. Internet, Internet Explorer? Explorer? Yeah, it opens him up. Right, because his brain, we show in the beginning of the movie, we show like an x-ray cross-section of his brain, and it, we show that it has no folds. Like his brain is completely smooth and it has no folds in it. He's ready to go. He's ready to He's ready to go. <laughs> he goes on the internet. He goes on the internet one time and his <laughs> brain gets all ripped. <laughs> he goes on the internet and he's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and that's credits. Post credits, it's him and the teacher. He's like, I, li I thought you'd like the park. It's a beautiful getaway. And there's like swans. And oh, so it's sort of got a licorice pizza element. Sort of pizza. We see the teacher sort of again. Pizza vibes. We. You're saying it's it's a sort of element of a movie you've never seen? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, I know the only thing I know about that movie is it's like a pedophile woman who's in love with a child, right? That's oh, the focus yeah. of the movie. Yeah, you're right. I and that's also it. our movie, but it's about Internet Explorer. More than that relationship. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's ancillary, the relationship. It's more about Internet Explorer. Yeah, so maybe we don't we, even see her again. I, I we should know. probably have more about Internet Explorer, honestly, in the movie. Yeah, and now. Yeah. You should talk about it more now. You want to take like a, a five-minute break or something? Sure. Then we can keep going. It's feeling good, though. Dude, he fucking slipped. Dude, I just heard about this on the radio today. You think yeah. He slipped on like a banana peel. Bob Saget That'd be the slipped fucking and hit his head, die. and he died that way. Well, it's really sad though, because it's a freak thing. I think I don't totally it's know. Tragic. But on my dad's side, I think that's how my my grandma died too. I think it's like I think it's weirdly common. Like people hit their heads and they. Are we recording? Yeah. Oh. And they don't want to go to the doctor, and it kills them. Yeah. But it's also like the thing that freaks me out about that is you hit your head all the time. So like, what are you gonna do? Go in every time you hit your head? Like, how do you know? I don't like that. Yeah, you do. You have to. You have to. Every time you hit your head, though. Not like no one's doing that. Bumping it on the cabinet. But every time you hit your head really hard, you should go to the doctor. When you're old and you slip and fall. I mean, he wasn't even that old, but yeah. He slipped and like ate shit probably and just smashed yeah. his head. But what's crazy is he fractured. He his probably stomach. didn't feel that bad. Like. If he didn't go, he probably didn't feel that bad. I think he's probably fucked up. 
his head's but all was he alone up. i don't know i feel like he probably thought like oh i just hit my head that's normal to do that to have your head hurt after i just you hit slipped it. on the top of the stairs and smashed my skull i don't think no ground. he would have gone to the doctor if that's what it was I think he probably fucking ate shit really hard. How do you know that and he died instantly? You think he died instantly? I heard it was like a brain bleed thing. Yeah. I don't think you're you're picturing like smacked his head with it on an anvil and died instantaneously. Is that what you think happened? We end in this? What's going on? I thought we were taking uh yeah, we were. Well, I don't want to take a break if we're gonna be done, so let's oh, just right. end it. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, we we're incapable of making a podcast where we don't end on some sort of grim note for some reason. But anyway, sure. R.I.P. Bob Saget. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Today. Uh, see you next uh, other week for Crypto Down the Tubes episode. Bye bye. <laughs>